Are you looking forward to buying your first room? Are you looking forward to get some cool footages in the sky? Well, you better watch to the end because in this video, I'm about to talk about something cool. But before I talk about it, roll clips. That was sick, isn't it? Tell me in the comment section down below what you think of this short drone clip I've created. Today, I'll be talking about some of my own opinions and some tips that would be super helpful if you're looking forward to buy this drone. By the way, this isn't such a tacky tacky reel, but what this is, is a video from a total newbie's perspective. So if you're a person with no drone experience, make sure you watch till the end. Just to clarify, this video isn't sponsored by DJI, so DJ, maybe sometimes you can, we can, right? What I'm really trying to say is that you can fully trust every word I'm about to say. Before I get started, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and the like button down below. I don't want to waste any of your time, so why don't we just get started? Okay, I'm gonna put this bad boy aside. Can you see it? Yeah. Here it is. So I got my drone for my birthday gift, which means I paid no money for it. Maybe it's because it's not my money, so my expectation wouldn't be as high as if I was using my own money. But hey, this bad boy is doing its job. It's working pretty great for me. The first thing that I realized, and also I think what you guys are gonna realize when you got this drone is how easy is it to use. This drone is only 249 grams, which means in pretty much all the places you can just buy it and fly it. This is because in pretty much all the continents drone policy, as long as your drone is under 250 grams, you don't have to get a pilot license, which I think DJI is quite smart about it. It's like they're playing around the restrictions. From a beginner standpoint, what they're looking for is just the perspective of the drone. They just want a drone that is easy to use and can just take off and get some cool footages in the sky. For the majority of the time, they won't go to places where require a drone policy, I mean, a drone license to fly their drone. So I don't really think there is going to be such a big difference if the beginner take a license or not. What I'm really trying to say is that if you bought this drone, you don't have to get a pilot license because this drone's weight doesn't require one. So if you're a beginner with no drone experience, this is the right one. The second thing I want to talk about is the Flymore Combo. So I got my drone in the Flymore Combo, which means it will have three batteries in total and many other supplies. So I think the other, the extra supplies really doesn't matter that much, but what really makes the Flymore Combo worth its price are the three batteries. For the basics one, 
you will only have one battery that can only stay up for 30 minutes. With just two extra batteries, I promise your flying experience will be a lot better. Think about it. If you can only fly your drone for 30 minutes per charge, you will be easily demotivated and your passion will quickly run out, which I don't think it's worth it, right? Only with 150 bucks more, you can keep motivated and you can keep your passion. So I think you should really consider about bumping your budget up a bit. The third tip is one of those lessons that I have to learn because something bad happened. But before I talk about it, why don't we switch a spot? So. Life. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm currently in the middle of our school field, which was the place where I got to learn my lesson. So here's what happened. The other day I was flying my drone and getting some cool footages. And after getting some cool shots, I was like, oh yeah, that's great. Uh, why don't we just call it a day? So I pressed the automatic return button. In case you don't know what the feature does, this feature is pretty much just gonna let the drone to return to spot where it took off. Yes, where it took off. And here comes the issue. I took off on this bench, literally on this bench. Um, let me show you guys. Yes, literally on this bench. As you see, this bench is thin. So it means that it will, I have to be fairly accurate in order for the drone to successfully land on the bench. So when it's landing, I felt that the drone is a bit off and it won't land on a bench so I moved the joysticks on the controller and hope it will help but it turns out I was wrong. The drone crashed onto the ice and the propellers are kept spinning and you guessed it I broke the propellers but I was like oh that's not too bad I've got a lot, like a, a tons of spirit propellers in my backpack so I quickly just randomly picked some propellers from it and quickly bolted it in. Yes. I randomly pick out some propellers. Keep in mind that I random I randomly pick out the propellers because it's important for it later on in this video. I thought everything would just work great and the problem solved, so I just tried to take off to see if there's still any problems. But it turns out I was wrong again. The propellers behind on the right side would just not take off. So let me demonstrate it to you guys. So it's still capable of spinning, spinning its propeller, like it can still spin, but like what the issue is, is when I try to hire it a bit up, hire it up a bit, the drone, the whole drone will just lean back on the right and just be like this, and it will just crash again, and um, the drone will just stop spinning. Well, I instantly realized that things aren't that easy. So I quickly rushed home and I switched out all the propellers for their spear propellers. So I was thinking like, oh, just lower the variable, right? Maybe it's because some other propellers aren't working. Um, so I just switched out all the propellers and I wasted all, I wasted all these spear propellers. After I switched out all the propellers, I hope that it's gonna work just as properly as before, but it proves me wrong again. Oh my gosh, it's quite cold out here. Why don't we talk a bit more when I got home? So see you guys in a bit. Psych! Ooh. Where did we took off? Oh yeah. I was struggling so much that I even contacted DJI's technical support and neither do they have any ideas. After an hour or so, I finally decided to give up and hope that tomorrow it will just work as fine as before. But here comes the twist. This might sound very dramatic, but trust me, this isn't scripted. So I was cleaning up all the masks I made and I saw the instructions on the plastic wraps that hold the spirit propellers and I saw this. The propellers are actually separated into pair A and B. Oh my gosh. Damn. In case you're still wondering what actually happened, 
So let me explain it a bit more. Remember how early on in this video I said like I randomly pick out some propellers. Um, so what I actually mean by that is that, for example, I randomly pick out some um, propellers that belong to pier B and I bolt it in, like I screw it in into pier A on the drone. So I just mixed up the pairing of the propellers and the drone. So uh, I don't know uh, what's the reason behind it, maybe because some, like some physics or something like the air physics so like it would just affect how the air will flow so like it just wouldn't take off so hopefully they explain it um continue watching the video so my last tip for you guys is to really just read the instructions carefully this might not sound like a big tip but if something happened because you misread something the damage to your drone could be really harsh and i am an example of that you, you i learned my lesson and hopefully you also do um, you see how you even have some scratches on the back. Um, yeah, it's here. I don't know if it's focused or not, but yeah, it's here. Okay, that's all for today's video. I hope that you learned something in this video. And also, if you enjoyed it, make sure to click that like button and the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out any upcoming videos. I hope you have a great day and peace out.